Hi, welcome to Coffee with Angel. Thank you for joining me today. I am Angel. Um, are you maybe someone who is trying to brand yourself and not sure which direction to go? I got a good tip last week that might help you out. Um, in my test school with Ray Higdon, last week it was about branding and uh, he really dove deep into it and I got some great tips and I mean it's uh, branding is a topic uh, for me I mean I didn't study marketing I'm just learning everything on my own and and uh, you know going going as I can and and uh, just kind of flying by the seat of my pants on it but uh, it's he gave us some great tips but one thing that I really liked that really stood out to me um, and might help you if you're you know tr struggling with um, if you're doing a blog or if you're putting videos out there, it's very hard as a network marketer to not mention your business because you feel like you're missing out on uh, you know, letting people know about your opportunity. Or maybe you're someone who does take that approach and you swear by it and that's the way you're, you're going to be. One advice, uh, one tip that he gave um, was to make it about you because you never know what's going to happen in the future. And that could be either if something happens to your company uh, where it's no longer around anymore. I mean, heaven forbid, all of our companies are the most amazing, right? We all are in love with what we do and in love with our products and in love with our business. But there could be that, you know, unforeseen future where that happens. Or what if you change your mind and you end up doing something else? So if you um, have branded yourself as your business, then if you make a change or if your company changes, you can pick up and move on pretty easily. Whereas if you have branded your whole image around your network marketing company, you need to start over again. So that might be something to take into thought if you're a network marketer putting content out there and branding yourself um, to really just you know make it about you, make yourself your business and uh, set yourself up so that uh, if, if something happens in the future, you're not falling apart. Okay, hope you got value from this. Please like, comment, and share. I appreciate it very much. Um, if you'd like any other tips like this, please email me anytime at coffee with angel at outlook.com or your, enter your email in for the free information on this page. Three things you could be doing to turn leads away and also your free audio on how to rid your mind of mental blocks. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you again.